Hey everyone, it's Kelly, the Frugal Fun Mum. It's Thursday, you know what that means. Mark down shopping. This is a whole lot of stuff that I've seen over the past kind of week, and then my haul at the end. So, let's go. I was happily surprised to see roast chickens marked down because they're not often around anymore. Although I did get one for $5 last week, so I grabbed it. And this is a roast beef marked down. I do see these quite often, but the weight is only about 300 grams. So yeah, pricey. Ah, uh, yes, shortages. What can we say? But at least they've got signs up saying what's going on. But of course, you can always get marked down pre-cut carrots. These salads, they were there in the morning and then they were there in the afternoon. <laughs> oh, oh. oh, These meal kits, I would have grabbed if they were cheaper. But yeah, not this one, but the previous one. Just having a look at it in the light. So they're pretty good for what they are. I reckon if you were a single person on your own and needed something, figure why not. But yeah, lots of holes and spaces checked out the clearance rack that's here and not really a lot of stuff here i don't know what that cocoa pie thing's doing there it's in odd place and it's funny some of these things have been the same price for quite a few weeks now but i did see these milos and was tempted the juices are finally down a little bit more but the price for per litre is still a little bit out of my price range even with the refund that we'd get for each fruit box so I've just left them for now but yeah and then some people have just also dumped some random stuff on the shelves these are always marked down lately in the bakery perfriterols however you want to say they've got custard in them though so we're not really a fan and some sweet potatoes so a little bit of a discount <laughs> Not much, but they're about $2.50 at the fruit and veg shop at the moment, so I'll wait and get some there. I did get these. You'll hear me say, oh, I also got these chicken things later in my haul. So you'll see these come up again when I show them later. They were really good, actually, cooked in the oven for 20 minutes. And good to see some bread marked down. Potato burger buns. Super weird. I'm finding that bread isn't marked down as much anymore so yeah these burger things look really good until I saw they were pork and we're not really fan favorites of this house so I've left them and the same with these sausages these are always on clearance at the moment so just having a look at what they were but yeah not for us so next <laughs> just some more this is a natural like non meat plant-based apparently they're really yum if they were a dollar i might have bought them to try but they're not so and sizzle steak i'm seeing this marked down all the time lately not by much but just enough these mini fillets looks good but for the weight of them you can actually get a lot more in the freezer section so it would be worth checking that out and these prawns are always on clearance lately at the moment and salmon as well it's not ever marked down much but it would be enough for someone uh is anyone keen for any lamb's fry or a lamb heart <laughs> Oh, there are some things I draw the line out for markdowns, I tell ya. Some more meal-based things here. This looked really good, but I'm sure that I could make it a lot cheaper. And then having a look at some of the sauce packs that are here. I've seen a whole others during the week as well, and as well I've left them. This one looked really good, but it's got a whole lot of fats and preservatives in it that I just don't know. And I figured I can make my own just as easy and probably cheaper as well. So I've left that for now. Oh, I saw the yellow sticker, but yeah, it's a bit out of my price range. This yogurt looked pretty good. Uh, yeah individually they work out to be about that when you buy the six pack which is good these are not good <laughs> compared to what we just saw yeah so having a look here for the six packs on special as well so a bargain if you're looking for some yogurt or yogurt depending what you say milk we always need milk more milk light milk <laughs> light milk is cheaper than regular milk and here are some gluten-free bagels this was good to see actually if you are needing gluten-free diet 
it's good that there would be the opportunity to get some. Had a quick look in at Cheapest Chips. So I saw these Turkish Delights were on special and this hazelnut spread and salt. Who doesn't need salt? <laughs> and in Woolies, these spring rolls are on clearance for $3.75. They were only $2 last week when I got some. And had a look at the Tom Cruise clearance shelf. He's not there again. But these chocolates were on special. I nearly got some, but I actually got some last week for a dollar each. So I've left them for now. Just a small little haul today. So I've got some chicken mints here for $4.19 and I got two lots of these 500 gram creams for $1.88 so we'll probably make some butter with that and then I got this beef roast from Woolworths marked down to $10.97 so good saving there I also got some chicken little drumsticks I'll see if I can put a picture in because we had those for dinner last night and I forgot to film on this phone it's on the other one so here's the drumsticks that we had last night or wing nibbles I got on clearance um yeah they were filmed on this phone so all good just a pretty small haul today so we've got two packs of these bolognese mints they're marked down they'll be going into a meal plan for next week got some more chicken mints again marked down was six dollars now th three sixty i got six of cabanas one two i think there was six in there for four dollars that will go very quick in this house i got some sour onion and cheese crackers for 99 cents got two packs they chicken chips these are from reject shop they're 63 cents each got this chocolate milk that's three dollars got a can of ginger beer for 50 cents probably not gonna taste very good says hubby I got this condensed milk that's a dollar thirty nine and then lastly I got this bottle of morning star which is our favorite marked down to two dollars sixty seven in foodland normally five dollars so yes that's everything for today a small but yes yeah, small but quick haul because uh, next week I'm doing a bit of a meal plan using some of these things as well if you enjoyed today's video video <laughs> please give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below to say g'day tell me what specials you've had this week i love hearing about them subscribe because we would love to have you as part of our frugal fun family and then you can see where these end up next week and as always i look forward to seeing you next time bye